Too quiet. Too easy. Too late. Banner, Wilson, you take the left and right flanks. Check out the church. Go. Chicho, we go down the middle. I'll check out the cantina and that storage building. Go. They're probably in the church. You go check it out. Why has the black man always got to check it out first? You check it out. Because you're the medic. Somebody might be hurt in there. <laughs> Son of a Nothing inside, man. Let's keep going. Front door back. Doesn't matter. They won't be inside. They'll wait to ambush us on our way out. for a quarter, Murph. Where's the congressman, sir? Move! Get some antibiotics in him. The rest of the team, sir. We're all that's left. What about the cantina? All dead. Who are they? Local resistance. I heard gunfire yesterday. Sounded like an execution. It's all right, bro. We're ready. Let's go home.
dreams the usual you can't go back for him no one can hmm. I don't know if I can do this anymore jumping out of helicopters for Uncle Sam oh yeah what else are you gonna do I don't know Thought about maybe pro wrestling. <laughs> Get to work, soldier. I've got a lot to do today if we're gonna have that party tonight. <laughs> Hollywood, that's a bogey in your airspace. I'd right, get out of there. I'm trying. Where are you, Rev? Right up your ass, Hollywood. Can't you feel me, boy? Oh, still now. I knew you Hollywood boys liked you from behind. <laughs> A little decorum, flight leader. Roger that, sir. I'll write you in, red redneck. Let's see if you can keep up with me now. Good move. Didn't think you had it in you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Judas, who's riding on a pony? Call my folks. Tell them I went down in flames and died a hero. All right, boys. Head back for the barn. Roger that, sir. That kid is a hell of a pilot. The best in Company C. And you don't like him because he's an arrogant son of a... I think he still needs a little guidance. And we need him. This Ranger group... Just took deliverance of a F-117 stealth fighter. And Hollywood is the only army pilot that can fly one of these things. What the hell do we need a stealth fighter for? This model is a modified trainer. Has an expanded cargo and personnel capacity. <laughs> Congratulations, Murph. You're about to lead the world's first stealth delivered airborne ranger unit. Undetected troops. You don't have to kiss the pilot. Just bond with him a little. Great. Hey, hey! Chili's here! Uh, that for me? Yeah, watch it. It's heavy. How is it? Too hot. He always makes it too hot. Thank you, Vincent. No, I don't. It's not true. 
So, happy. Hey, Sarge. Hey. How's that lovely wife doing? Good chest cold and killer. <laughs> How about a beer? Yeah, lead the way. Here you go, Sarge. Nice flying today, hotshot. Nice of you to notice. Hey. What about me, Cheech? I sent flowers to your folks. Hey, the South will rise again. Dream. <laughs> Let me guess, your husband's chilly. You got it. Hate to miss the funeral, Red, but I'm heading out to Hollywood. Look for an agent. Pick your top gun on my resume. Give me some real star power. Well, I hate to burst your bubble there, uh, Bubba, but you're too damn ugly to be a movie star. But you know what? You got such a pretty little mouth. Teach and I'll let you honk our verbals later. <laughs> Sweeten that up for you? Uh, negative, sir, but I would like some of that damn chili you didn't consider. You gonna offer me some? Oh, you're gonna like this. I made it really mild. You know, it's like you, the babies can eat this chili. I can't so twice enough. Just rips my intestines. Oh, this will be good for your intestines. You must still be flying pretty high after today. Just doing my job. Lighten up, Hollywood. You're a damn good pilot. I respect that. I don't really care if you do. You don't like me very much, do you? I do my job. I follow my orders. I don't have to be your friend. Well, what the are you doing in my house? Hey. How about some coffee? Uh, no, honey. I'm, uh, I'm fine. Sorry, Miss Smurf. Hey, Captain. Save your life for a quarter. Just happen to have one right here. Outstanding. Let's make some room. <clears throat> Need some Tabasco in that. All right, a little now you see it, now you don't act here, okay? Who wants it? I'm the bank, right here. Come on, let's there go. There we go. Who we go? Sam, watch, I make some all right, room here. Cam, come, come on, Holly, will you in on this? Hey, all, all right, right, all right, all right. All right. Mona, all right. Mona, I need some more money. Here, stop. Uh, at a girl. Stand all right, right. Hollywood 10, right. Hollywood 10, right here, right here. Oh, crap, you got it, you got it. Okay, here we go. All right. Take the quarter here, you see that? Your old man's just gonna find that. It's real easy. Put it under here. Gonna do a little toss it back and forth. Here we go. Move it around here, move it there, that way, this way. This is pretty darn easy, I'm telling you. Which one, Bubba? Try again. I'm out. I should have to drink last night, Cap. Just a six-pack of Kentucky bourbon. What do you got? It just came in from Intel. Looks like Salvatore's back in the drug business again. In Central America, in San Cedros, no less. The village is deserted. Most of the locals have fled up into the hills. He's using the rest as slave labor. He's also using the local air force to smuggle large quantities of cocaine. He's got a factory right in the middle of the air base, and most of his supplies are stored in unused hangars. This is the largest drug operation in Central America since the 1980s. Back to the future. You know something, Cap? I'd sure like to go down there again and kill that son of a You and me both, Chief. Anybody else see this? Yeah, and there's more. came to Intel last week. Lieutenant David Rifkin, United States Army Rangers, 10-25-12-21-85. Born 2602, 1960. Scroll. Ah! Okay. Hello, Yankees. Huh? Give him a little belly at Morgan, eh? 
Salvatore wants to make an exchange. Riff for a drug dealer we're holding in California. Well, we won't play. The US government does not make deals with drug cartels, especially for one lone army ranger from some elite task force that doesn't officially exist. So what do we do? We go get him. Captain Murphy, I cannot risk American lives and equipment on some ill-advised and illegal rescue mission for one lone soldier. There are political considerations. With all due respect, sir, this is my first time at the barbecue. Now, you must be showing us that tape for a reason. Assemble your men in Hangar 4, 1900 hours. Yes, sir. Looks like you might get your wish, Chief. The F-117C stealth will be used to fly us into a deserted airstrip six clicks north of the village. New active stealth capabilities will allow us to arrive totally undetected. I'd like you to all meet our new medic, Sergeant Phillips. Glad to be aboard, sir. Lieutenant Andrews will fly the stealth because of his vast experience with this aircraft. Sorry, Reb. No problem, sir. Uh, what about the Southern contingent? Reb, you'll be flying a Navy F-14 from the aircraft carrier Oakland. Lieutenant Randall will be your co-pilot. Ready when you are. Once you've entered San Cedro's airspace, you are to engage and distract all enemy aircraft. Once you're done, you'll supply further air support for the ground mission. Yes, sir. We're counting on you, Reb. Don't let us down. I won't, sir. What about the mission after we rescue Riff? We want the air base destroyed and Salvatore's drug operation out of business. That is the official mission. It is critical. These people are counting on us. We've tried diplomatic means before. Almost lost a congressman in the process. I came back from that mission. Some didn't. There is no way to get to him that's honest or legal. Well? Being good rangers, sir, we'll do a dishonest, illegal, and give it to them up the old. All right, all right, all right, listen up. I want you to all get some rest. It's going to be a long couple of days. Dismissed. You're not sleeping. I've been awake all night listening to you snore. I got the test results back from the doctor yesterday. It doesn't look good. can always adopt. Just take this to to die. You gonna fool around with me while I'm gone? Maybe. I promise she'll tell me all the details. I'll take pictures. Mm hmm Anybody I know?
Captain Jack Stevens, skipper of the Oakland. Lieutenant Randall, sir. Lieutenant Carter, sir. But my friends call me Red. And mine call me Captain. Your Colonel Reynolds gave me some details about your mission, gentlemen. In fact, too few. I was impressed with your flight record, Lieutenant, particularly on an F-14 Tomcat, and I do see that your carrier qualified. But what I don't see is why a Navy pilot can't fly this mission. Well, Captain, the way we see this little get-to, it's an Army problem, so the Army ought to be the one to clean it up. Not good enough, Lieutenant. And you can save the good old boy chatter for somebody else. That doesn't do a thing to sweeten my disposition. That's too bad, Captain. The dispatch from Colonel Reynolds explains the parameters of this operation and the need for secrecy. Hell, sir, I'm just here to fly one of your Tomcats. And I don't give a damn about dispatch, Lieutenant. If I'm going to entrust one of my airplanes to an Army pilot and let him fly in harm's way, then by God, I want to know why. Yes, sir. I know the terrain. I know the ground crew. And I can fly the out of one of your Tomcats. Now, you could let a naval aviator fly this operation, but the Army needs me. Fair enough, Lieutenant. I'll introduce you gentlemen to your flight officer. Oh, and if you all need any help, you don't hesitate to call. Roger that, sir. Nobody's gonna hold your hand. Come on. Back 50 years ago, scientists were convinced that it was impossible to fly faster than the speed of sound. At that speed, they figured your plane would hit some invisible barrier and explode. Bad. Try not to touch anything, sir. This is a modified trainer. Your controls duplicate mine. Standing by, sir. Very well, Sergeant. Give the stealth clearance for takeoff. Stealth, you are clear for takeoff on runway 7B. Roger that. Locked and loaded. Cloud cover nominal. Roger, Tower. Screen is operating. I have a lock on flight path. Uh, Roger, Stealth. You're a go for throttle up. Godspeed, gentlemen.
Alert the Okla. Comcheck, Comcheck. Mother, this is Comcat 230. How copy over? Roger 230. You're hooked up to Cat. Hold back in position. All right, gentlemen, let's get him up. You better take good care of my airplane, Lieutenant. You break it, you buy it. Roger that, sir. You just send that bill to the United States Rangers. Rolling up. are heading to the rendezvous point. Think they have a chance, sir? No. No way. Not a chance in hell. But we just might pull it off anyway. I picked up a one, maybe two American aircraft on radar. I've launched fighters. Try and relax, Colonel Juarez. I was expecting this. <laughs> Levántate! Levántate! How far are we from San Cedro's airspace? About 10 minutes. Ah, and there's Red. Damn, San Cedro's ground radar has a lock on us. Already? Man, that was fast. Time to go to work. Go to active stealth, boys. We're on TV. Copy that. Activating stealth mode. Long soon. You keep your eyes peeled. Here's the Libra Pass, who's a leader. Por favor, diga me su destinacion final. Tomcat 230, be advised, we have multiple bogeys. 709 or 15,000 feet at two miles, nose high. Roger that, sir. I see him. So, where do they keep the weapons on this thing? You're sitting on them, Doc. IR Mavericks forward fire infrared guidance. Hey. 300 pounds of land interdiction TNT. It's a beautiful thing. Bada boom. <laughs> New bearing is 7.0. This is the National Air Force of the Republic of San Cedros. You are violating our sovereign airspace. Identify yourself, or we'll have to shoot you down. He's trying to lock. Must be sweet on us. Make it right. Slide out of his crosshairs. Lost this lock. Roger that. Now let's play with this joker. Yet. I got 
lock on his ass. Let's watch that pig squeal. Say goodnight, Irene. Flight 204 standing by, sir. Do we launch? Negative, gentlemen. It's their war. I just hope to God they win it. Got another. I see him. Hang on, hang on. We're losing power. Put your poker face on, Randall. Just play a little five-card stunt. Taking it on down to the card table. He's got a lock. Not for long. Hang on. Ah! In the brakes. Ah! Ah! Here we go. Call your hand, amigo. Still on his tail. Let's take one out. Stick to the mission. Maintain radio silence. Sir, he's got a lock on Rev. Hold your position, Lieutenant. Somebody sitting in. Wait, I don't see him. Hell yeah, Randall, where? I can't see him. Oh, he's fired. I can't see him. Where is he, Randall? Off radar. Tomcat 203203, 203, do you copy? Sir, do we send in the search and rescue? That's a negative. Contact Wingate Field, report status to Colonel Reynolds. Aye, aye, sir. You want a ground search? No. New coordinates. There's an old drug smuggling field about seven clicks from the target. We're changing our landing site? Why? Just a hunch, Lieutenant. Now you're wasting our time. Do it! New bearing. Landing in four minutes. Below radar. Deactivating stealth. Hey, uh, Phillips, we're on the ground. So how do we hide this thing? You really think somebody's gonna take this thing for a joyride? There's lots of deserted airfields in this area. They'll never find us. Well, you'll pardon me if I don't trust your hunches, sir. The Oak has lost contact with Lieutenant Carter's plane. They believe it's gone down. Should we try to contact Murph? He'll shout if he needs us. Let's go! Let's go! Move out! Search for Reb and Randall? Salvatore's men will be combing the air for survivors. If Reb and Randall are still alive, they may buy us some time. If not, sooner or later, those men will find us. So we finish the mission as quickly as possible. Whoa. You're just going to leave them for the butchers? I'm going to follow my orders. Just like you. Let's move out. Cold-hearted son of a He's wrong. You do what he tells you every time he tells you, you just might get through this alive. Now, you get killed, Hotshot, that ain't gonna bother me. But you get him killed, it will. Gavish?
British Guiana, 1894 issue. Now, if we can get the 98 reprint, I'll have the complete set. Colonel Juarez managed to shoot down the American plane. Any sign of the stealth? I got a truck on the way to the airstrip. I think we should head to the prison compound in case they beat us. I think you worry too much. Relax for a moment. Tell me something, Morgan. Why is it you're so loyal to me? This isn't your country, and it isn't your cause. Your checks don't bounce. It isn't the money. You thrive on this kind of action. It's what I'm good at. I don't know anything else. How do you sleep at night, Salvatore? Me? I'm a businessman. And this is our nation's business, despite what the politicians claim. I do this for my family, for my country. Patriot. Yes, a patriot. You're quite right, Morgan. Let's go check on the prisoner. They'll shout if they need us. But what if they can't shout, Colonel? You've got to give me more than that. Captain Stevens, this mission is in a state of flux. We are in a combat situation, and the picture changes as we speak. I don't need you to explain combat situations to me, Colonel. I did my tours in NAM, Navy SEAL. I meant no disrespect. Well, I never dreamed you did, Colonel. But I've got a plane down and two pilots missing that I'm responsible for somewhere in Central America. Now, project status info better start flowing from your HQ like through a goose, or I'm calling Central Command, Colonel. Is that clear? killed a man like that before. Hey, get over it. That's what we're here for. Hey, Rev. Yeah. Check it out. Outstanding. Now we can have some fun. Let's get the hell out of here. No sign of the stealth at the airstrip. So we wait for them to come to us. 
space to advertise. Cheek, you know the drill. Lay down some demo, we'll move on your signal. Well, signal? Yeah, just a couple of big bangs. All right, let's get the rest of the gear. You ever light that thing? What, are you crazy? Smoking will kill you. Go on. You ever light that thing, Schmuck? Salte del camión. Estúpido, vamos. Good one, Reb. When I just what the hell did you want me to do, Randall? Run him over? Vamos ahora, pa fuera. Let's give him something to pass the time, huh? Data will hear Chiki's signal. You enjoying this? Look, if you want to stop me, then kill me. Don't tempt me, kid. Life for a quarter, Riff. I wasn't expecting this. What were you expecting? They're army rangers. Captain, 
You forget where we left the plane? We're not going back to the plane. Yet. They'll be sending trucks. Or they could just bypass us and go straight to the plane, sir. Well, pardon me for saying so, Captain, but I'd really like to get in the air. We'll get back to the plane, Rev. Just give me a few minutes, will you? Murph, truck! Truck, let's go. Reverend Randall, what do you know? Captain, sure is good to see you, boys. <laughs> I knew you were still alive, you stupid. Just don't try and kiss me, West Hollywood. Come here, how you doing? Here, How'd you manage this? We had some help. Maria. Your comrades tell me you are here to help. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Shut up, Hollywood. Luke. Crackers for you. Beef stew. Jorge, you little chicken and rice? Who's going to play the game, Kai Lawson? Try to select Finish your grub, soldier. How's Rev? He's surprisingly in good shape. I mean, but his wrist wounds are bad. There's a danger of infection. <laughs> we gotta get him out of here. This place isn't safe for them or us. You mean I'm not safe? Is that it, Doc? Passing on. Well, from what I gather, sir, Maria there, she's been fighting Salvatore's men from the hill for about a year now. The little guy there, his name's Jorge. That's her son. He's a tough little bastard. I think he's taking a shine to you, sir. He's a cute kid. Yeah. Doesn't speak very much. Mm -mm. I was talking to Doc about it. He said he's suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. It seems that Maria's old man was the leader of a resistance. Salvatore had his men torture to find out where he was. And apparently they, they did some pretty evil to her. So, to protect his mama, Jorge gave up his daddy. The little guy hadn't spoken since. It's a hell of a way to grow up. Yes, sir. I had given up on your country. You wouldn't be the first. 
What happened to the villagers? Most who still live work for Salvatore in his factory at the airbase. The rest have scattered into the hills. So the child and a few weapons is all you have to fight with? It is what I have, Captain Murph. It's what I have. And you, if you are willing. We came here to put Salvatore out of business. In order to do that, we need to get back to our plane. You can help us. If you do, you might buy yourself and your people some freedom. From him, at least. You carry much anger with you. Because I've been here before. You have met Salvatore. We will help you if you kill him. That's a promise I'll keep. You hold on to the soldier.
Hollywood, get them out! Finish the mission! I ain't going anywhere! Finish the mission! I've got one of your wounded men right here. He needs medical help. Your call, sir. That's better. Didn't they warn you about this, Mark? When dealing with prisoners of war, always assume they may have turned. You can't do this. I did it. They paid me, that's it. We risked our lives to bring your sorry ass back. See, Salvatore figured you'd be back to get me. I was the bait. He pays real well, maybe he's got something for you. That's enough! This is the end game, Murph. I'm gonna kill you, Riff. However this ends, you're gonna die. Morgan, let's go. Move him out! Murph's bought us some time. Hey, Doc, you got another one of those bandages? Yeah. Thanks. It's gonna be okay? Yeah. You're just fine. You just gotta get this on and go. You have not found the plane. We will. I hope that you do. I cannot keep protecting you from my government without something to show for it. Do you have any idea of how many treaties the Americans have violated by simply flying into your airspace? And they can't admit landing a stealth plane here without incurring the wrath of most of their Latin American allies. Don't worry, Colonel. You'll get your new toy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am expecting a telephone call. No word from the ground team. Give me a secure line. Scrambler's lied in the galley, sir. Morgan was enjoying himself a little too much. Nonsense. The line is secure. Give me some good news. It appears they didn't land where we agreed. Perhaps your satellite recon can help. It is a small country. It's not that easy. I don't have a satellite in position, and it's too late in the game to check for heat traces. Go look for it. How many airfields can there be in your country? More than you might imagine. We have some of your men here, and I hope to have some answers very soon. 
whatever it takes. After you get what we need, terminate them. Let's go visit our guests. USS Oakland Line 2, sir. Stevens, good to hear from you. I was just wondering if you'd heard from your team, Colonel. They're under strict radio silence, Captain. Typical for this type of small window penetration. Well, Colonel, they've been on the ground for more than 24 hours. Now, I don't want to debate military tactics with you, but from where I come from, we don't call that a quick in and out. I'd like to send a recon flight into the area. Provide them with a little backup. I can't risk any more of your planes until I talk to Murph. I've worked with this team before. I suggest we leave them alone until they get the job done. I'll keep you posted. How you doing? I can still kick your ass, Lieutenant. <laughs> Looks like Riff's a lousy shot. <laughs> How's he, kid? I think he'll be okay. Well, what's it gonna be, Lieutenant? Well, those people are depending on us to carry out this mission, right? You will. But first, we have to get your friends back. Okay? What would Murph do in this situation? You know the answer to that, Lieutenant. Question is, sir, what are you gonna do? Let me take a moment to explain the utter hopelessness of your predicament. Captain Murphy, you are the one man who has stood up to me time and time again. I respect that. We are cut from the same cloth, hmm? Both of us believe in the rightness of what we do. You are loyal to your country, and I am loyal to the business of my country. And like you, I only harm those who would do me harm. I think I'd prefer the torture over the speeches, Salvatore. Yeah. You all have them uh, electrodes for a... <laughs> no, no torture. Just civilized men discussing business. You know your superior, Colonel Reynolds, has been selling out your country for over a decade. Arms, intelligence, drugs, and now, you. He cooked up my rescue in order to get you guys to bring Salvatore here as stealth plan. Signed, sealed, and delivered for a lot of cash. Just like you. Mr. Rifkin has been very helpful. Let's just say he's found better career opportunities in the private sector. All right, I've heard enough. What's the deal, Salvatore? You tell me where the stealth plane is, I give you safe passage out of the country. I'll even give you Reynolds. I'm tired of dealing with him, and I'm not keen about funding his golden years. You get the credit for uncovering his treason and possibly a promotion. I mean, come on. Who cares if you lose one stealth plane? America has plenty of them, no? I tell you what. You decide. Think about it. I'll give you two hours. Uh, Mr. Rifkin, perhaps you can stay and uh, persuade them, huh? A chance to... Earn your pay. Is that what you earned those gold bars for, Lieutenant? To turn on your fellow Rangers? That kind of blood's gonna be tough to wash off, my friend. I sleep real good at night, Murph. I'm coming for you and your dreams, Rifkin. You You always thought you were John Wayne, didn't you? So did you. So, Senor Salvatore. What if we uh, decide not to take your generous offer? You die. 
just like him. According to my calculations, uh, we should... We have two more miles. This way. We'll let you go. What are you waiting for? You want to see me? Yes. I was just thinking about the CIA. You worried? No. They had a landing strip about two miles from the border, used to smuggle cocaine out of here. It's the most likely hiding place for the stealth. I'll have Juarez run an air search of those coordinates. If it's there, he'll lead you to it. I'll get a truck ready. You want us to kill the prisoners? Rifkin is still at the compound. Have him do it. And then kill him. I've been waiting for that. If he was going to shoot me, he should have killed me. up, Sergeant. I want him to, but you'll tip our hand. Yeah. Salvatore wants you to shoot the prisoners. Now. All right. Let me just get out of this gear. Can't stand the smell of this anymore. They're loading the truck at the side of the compound. Take him out. Shoot this, shoot that. Getting too old for this. Sir? Save your life for a quarter. I saw the old switcheroo there. Oye, apúrale, me voy a morir de hambre. You okay? Yes. Okay. See that? You 
have to find it. There he is. All right, which one, amigo? La primera. Afternoon, folks. You piece of... How's your arm, Cheech? <laughs> you ought to know. All right, Hollywood, let's get Reverend Murph. You guys stay with the truck. a better shot than that. How do you know? La otra. Oh, Esa. Wrong again. Oops. Where'd that quarter go? Déjame verlo de adentro. What? I think he wants to see the inside of the cubs. You want to see the inside of the cubs? Sí, súbela. Okay. Now you gotta look real close. Chicho's okay. I only nicked him. Look, I only did what I had to do to try and save all of us, okay? Where's Randall? He didn't make it. I know what you were doing. Let's go. After you, Riff. I'm taking up the helicopter. We gotta go back to the village to get Phillips and the kid, if that's okay. That'll be fine, Lieutenant. Where'd you get hit? Probably all right. Just a scratch. That's too bad. Be here soon. Watch the road. Let's go, boys. Come on, come on. We don't have much time. We gotta get him in the truck. How bad's a kid? He needs a doctor. A real doctor. And what he needs is a whole new life. What the hell do you want me to do about it? I'm glad I don't have to make that decision, sir. Oh, hell, boys. These bastards ain't playing fair now, are they?
Colonel Mysat recon's picking up an increase in ground activity in the target region. I'm formally requesting permission to send an air support. Permission denied. Do I have to remind you that Central Command shares my views? At this point, the primary objective is deniability. We have no ground troops in San Cedros. Stand down. Think he'll go up anyway, sir? He might. If he can help Captain Murphy in the stealth, they can do a lot of damage to Salvatore's operation. Seaman Arden. Have 207 209 stand by for routine training flight. Understood, sir. Very well. located the stealth on the ground grid 603 I have a truck on the way and I'd suggest get some planes in the air let's go Hollywood Murph, take my son with you to America make him well what are you talking about you're both coming with us no. I stay here and fight with my people me. Look, Marie, you fought long enough. Yeah, we got company. Go ahead and wind it up, or I'll be back. Phillips, get the kid! Lieutenant! clear. The stealth is airborne. I told you so. Shoot it down. I repeat, shoot it down.
Captain Stevens, satellite recons pick up bogeys over San Cedros, and we have a heat signature on an American stealth plane. All right, let's get 207, 209 into the air, gentlemen. This is a Navy's war now. Sights and ground batteries. I want that plane down! Now I'm gonna need your help with these air to ground missiles. Put on your headset. You're gonna play bombardier. Power grid on. Just internal focus to your sight, and when the grid's locking, fire. Just like a video game. Fire! Incoming Sam's. Gonna miss. Descending to 2,000 feet. Here's your chance, Captain. Target lock. Company. Releasing countermeasures. Go to active stealth. Negative function. Shrapnel damage. Hang on. Still behind us. I'm gonna try to outrun him. Need some help, Army? Navy's here. Step right up, sailor. Bogey's on your tail. We'll give him something else to shoot at. Got you in the sights, 209. Not for long. He's still there. I need a clear shot. Break in three, two, one. Break. Good job, 209. He's all mine now. This will lock it. Bye bye, folks. Gone. One more out there. No, no. This one's mine, Navy. Nice shooting, Army. How'd you get the word? Compliments to Captain Stevens. You can thank him yourself. Will do. All right, this is as far as we can take you. Good luck, sir. We're out of here. Captain Stevens, much obliged. Always glad to help, soldier. It's my little gift to the boys in Company C. All threats have been neutralized, sir. Mission accomplished? Almost. Target is 
in range. Loading laser missiles. AGM's armed. Ave Maria. Es el final, mi amor. Target locked. Es el final. Permission to head for home. Permission granted, Lieutenant. Get us out of here. Why aren't you in your dress uniform, Murph? Press will be here in 10 minutes. It's a great day for Ranger Company C. Salvatore told me everything. Really? You will play along, Murph. You're on the fast track now. I just got the papers for your promotion to Lieutenant Colonel. I'll announce it at the press conference. You'll be right up there next to me, kissing when I pin these bars on you. I won't be there. Neither will Cheek, Riff, Reb, or Randall. Neither will you. Well, like you said, Murph, all the witnesses are dead. Except you and me. Captain? We'll take it from here. I gave my deposition to Army Intelligence this afternoon. Army Intel has had you under investigation for some time. I was hired as your assistant to help build a case. Like I told Riff, that's Ranger blood on your hands. It's tough to wash off. <laughs> <laughs> 